Uh, starting today, school districts across California can make their own decisions on masks. This comes after the state's mandate expired. Some districts are letting the students go maskless. Others are waiting a few more weeks. CBS 8's Chris Girl live at Del Norte High School. It's one of the schools where the kids can take the masks off if they want to, Chris. Exactly. And look, so far we've actually heard from the principal. We did an interview with the superintendent for Poway Unified, but now we are going to be talking to a group of juniors here with Del Norte High School and all of them obviously directly involved with now masks being optional. So we have Molly, Daniel, Bryn and Brayden. I'm very proud that I've gotten all four names correct right now. But now we're going to ask them a little bit just about obviously being back in school. So Molly, we'll start with you. You're back in school here. It is another Monday with no masks. I, I guess how do you feel? Do you do you feel a little bit more comfortable now? Um, I'm really excited. I think this is a really good step in like the right direction. I mean, this is the most like pre COVID it's really felt in two years. So that's gonna be really exciting. I mean, I personally am still a little bit undecided on what I'm gonna do. I thought all weekend, um, but I think it's gonna be really like a situational thing. Like I'm hoping when I sit down in my classes and like I see the classroom, I see the teacher, I hope like I'll kind of know, test out like the comfort level. Um, but our school does a really good job of like making the classrooms feel really safe. Like we have air purifiers in all the rooms. Um, all the teachers keep the doors open so there's good ventilation. So I think it'll be a really positive Monday here on campus. Um, yeah, I'm excited. All right, yeah. and then, and Daniel, look, uh, a lot of you have been talking about masks for schools and the entire pandemic. Uh, you guys obviously have been dealing with this. So what has it been like prior to today having to wear that mask all day? Prior to this, it's been a little interesting because you've seen schools as sort of the only place left with a lot of more indoor mask mandates being lifted across San Diego, across the state, across the country. So it's sort of interesting that we've been wearing masks ever since we came back, which was around March last year um, in person. So it's interesting just coming back and sort of not having that because we've, it's been a constant. I've still got mine in my pocket because every time you step in a classroom, put it on. Anytime you step out, take it off. So. And then uh, Brendan Braden, I mean, do you guys know what, what you're going to be doing? Um, I'm going to for sure be taking the mask off just because I think we've come a long way with all the vaccines and all the healthcare workers um, helping us get through this pandemic. So it's a really good milestone. So I think it's for sure time to take it off. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I haven't quite decided yet. I think it depends on the class, like Bryn was saying. Um, I think if a lot of my peers are wearing a mask just to make sure they feel comfortable, I might wear mine. Uh, but if everyone else isn't, then I feel comfortable enough that the COVID numbers are low enough that I feel safe taking off my mask. And, and I mean, that's really interesting because you guys, again, you guys are the ones directly impacted by this and you pretty much are all going to kind of take this step by step, uh, if you will. And, and Principal Schultz, uh, I'll kind of bring you back in here to kind of hear their responses. Is that something that has been kind of across the student body? Yes, here's, here at Del Norte, I believe so. Again, we have just an amazing student body, amazing staff, and everybody's been incredibly supportive. And, you know, the expectations are going to continue to be supportive of one another, regardless of the decisions that individual staff and students make. And um, I think it was Braden that said it, you know, so eloquently that really, you know, we're here to support each other and we all still have our masks on us and are going to judge the room based on, you know, what's happening in real time. And um, I'll wear my mask when it's appropriate and, and want to show support for those that, that want to continue wearing it. And um, that's just the community that we have here at Del Norte, very supportive and very um, inclusive of everybody. And that's just what we, what we do here. So. Okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning here. And uh, it's good to see your faces and those smiles. And so, again, uh, hopefully, you know, everybody here at Del Norte High School, again, uh, very happy for today. And, and look, again, Del Norte High School and Poway Unified, that is what they are doing. If you're wondering what it is that your school district is doing, you can go to CBS8.com, click on that story link for a complete guide on what each individual district and school is doing. Because remember, you look at San Diego Unified, look at Sweetwater Union High School District, they're waiting till April 4th. So it's important, again, that you double check to find out before you obviously send out your kids for the day.